Welcome to another episode of 420 Grams here on newsclick.in. We are at Adidas, the base in New Delhi, and we've been joined, uh, Arjun Pandit and I have been joined by Lalian Zuala Changte of the Delhi Dynamos and his agent Raghav Sood, representing the sports company. Uh, now, if you're watching this show, the chances are that you're a bit of a football fan, so you would have heard that Changte is on his way to Norway to play uh, for a trial with Viking FK, Viking Football Club. Uh, it's based in a small town called Stavanger in Norway, which you might have heard of from the girl in the with the dragon tattoo that series. Otherwise, there's no reason to. Yeah, so to most people will not have heard of it <laughs> because I haven't seen it. So thanks for coming in here, guys. Uh, we're excited about the trial that you're going on. Uh, how how excited are you? Yeah, I'm really excited uh, because. When I heard the news from uh, this guy, I, I'm very surprised because uh, uh, getting the invitation uh, letter from this uh, club, one of the most successful club in Norway, it was amazing uh, to get this opportunity for me. Raghav, before I get back to Zwala, uh, could you tell us how much back and forth was involved? How did this deal go about happening? And from how long have you been pushing clubs abroad to get Changte on a trial? Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, just to give a brief about Zwala, He's been always, you know, willing to play outside India. So, you know, when we signed him, so since then, you know, we started to with him uh, on our networks outside India. So, with this club, we did not only approach this club; we approached a couple of other clubs in Sweden, in uh, Poland, and that's how there was a club in Poland also that showed interest, and a club in Sweden also that showed interest. But you know, with the Delhi Dynamo's uh, relation with Viking FK, they also were pretty keen on, you know. Exploring this Slowly and you know the way uh, so Viking FK did, or, you know uh, all the, the invitation letter no, 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 specialism no, no, that they no, showed, you know that was you it, and that's why we are taking this support. But, but, but for people watching this right now, how does it work, man? Uh, where you're as an agent, you're going, you're, you're giving videos of the player, you're telling them this is what he's done with the CV. Yeah, so uh, with with this uh, Viking FK, we were uh, very lucky because the CEO, Mr. Eric, was in uh, Delhi in December and Zuala was playing in the ISL. So you know we had. You know, asked him to you know have a look, and then after the that, we definitely you know we got all the videos uh, created at our uh, office, uh, making his Insta profiles, CVs, and everything, and that's how we sent uh, everything to all the clubs that yeah. we approached. Did you put the Nepal goal? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> there are a couple of other goals also. Perfect. So you share that video, huh? So that we can show it also. We can show it as well. Yeah. Talking about it, but uh, so the, a lot of the chat when we when India were going to the Asian Cup. We, we were expecting that if the team does well, they will generate some interest among clubs, at least Asian clubs, for Indian players. Uh, have you sort of, did you think about the idea of playing elsewhere in Asia as well, or were you focused only on a Europe sort of state? Yeah, uh, actually, since I was a kid, uh, dreaming to be a dreaming, uh, professional football player. So what I was doing, to play outside India before, was my dream. Was uh, playing to, doing, playing to, playing outside India. Everything. But of course, uh, we, we we watch a lot uh, English Premier League football, yeah. and house, European football. So playing in Europe will be a dream is come that, true. Is that what you told him? You said, was that the conversations, Wala? You said that, look, I want to play outside India. Whether it's Europe, Asia or wherever, I don't care. Yeah, Europe is my first first choice, always. Yeah. And uh, you're talking about teams you were watching growing up. Which was your favorite team growing up? Uh, favorite team is Chelsea FC. Bad days for Chelsea FC. Right now. <laughs> yeah, bad Not days. Time to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, uh, the Viking FC uh, knocked out them in 2003, I guess, in Super Cup. So it makes sense to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to go to Chelsea right now. <laughs> You've uh, gone abroad. Uh, to the Liverpool Youth Academy. It was only a one-week training stint. Learnings you've taken from there because once you go to Norway, you won't have much time to acclimatize. Thund hoigi, time on the ball will be less, decision making will be less. So, are you taking learnings from that time? Of course, of course. Uh, when when uh, when I recall it back that time. Uh, when, when we went there, the climate was so cold and we need uh, like at least 30 minutes to warm, warm uh, for warming up. So I know it, it is not going to be easy, tax and of course. And that time uh, when we were in Liverpool, uh, 
you know, the players were very fast, they were very physical, and we have to think before we get the ball. Before, uh, before the ball comes to me, I have to know where I should pass, where I should go. So that helps me a lot uh, now. So I, I think I'm mentally prepared now and physically I'm ready. And was there a lot of hard tackling as well? I mean, that's sort of an initiation when you go to a higher level, a colder climate. Players come into you, get stuck into you, and then it sort of takes you time to get into it. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, but actually, uh, luckily, we, we haven't got much training time there. Uh, so I, I cannot kick some players <laughs> as I wanted to. <laughs> Have you been watching videos of Viking FK on YouTube, what they've been doing, at least seeing highlights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I what have you made of the team so far? I don't know uh, about the, uh, I don't know much about the team, the, the, the players, but uh, I watch their like playing. Uh, I watch their goals, like the season goals. Can you tell us a bit about them? What what did you make of whatever you've seen so far? I haven't got much uh, profile from them. Uh, actually, I don't know much uh, about that thing, but the, the, I think uh, they played a great football. They won, uh, you know, the ball on the ground. They're playing. Uh, Attacking football, I think. Raghav, just uh, in terms of, uh, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be your only foray into Europe. Uh, what Sidhan said earlier, from an agent's perspective, are you looking outside of Europe as well, say Asia and other continents? To be honest, we are uh, keen on exploring that, like countries like Thailand, uh, Australia. These could be, you know, good countries wherein, you know, firstly they are not uh, like Thailand. To be honest, they are not far of apart from India and then, you know, the facilities, seeing the Asian Cup, you know, the success that these teams have had, you know, we are looking at, but we still, you know, as he said that, you know, our first priority was Europe, but now that, you know, the football is globally expanding to Asia, we are looking at, you know. Uh, even though we, we know that it's not going to be easy, yeah, so, but still, that's our dream. Yeah. So, uh, firstly, uh, I think for a player to go outside and play, it's the most important thing is the mindset. And then second comes is the guidance. You know, if, if these uh, young players don't get the right guidance of, you know, going out, making the bold move of you know, going out and playing outside and trying, you know, then, you know, things will not change. So, it's more about the mindset. Quality-wise, there are so many talented players. We have seen the India Under-17 World Cup team. A couple of them were in the main India team also. Some of them have gone out. Ashike, she's gone out and played in Spain. So, you know, it's, I believe it's, it's more about the mindset. And that's where, you know, as agents, we come into place that, you know, they should be getting the right guidance. Has, is there a case, are we still in a scenario where agents have to go to teams abroad and say, look, this is our player, rather than teams coming to agents here in India and inquiring, look, who's this guy? Who's I think uh, with, with, with the Indian football in mind, I think it's more of agents going to, you know, uh, the clubs and approaching them. And, you know, it's, it's a start of a, uh, you know, let's say a beginning where, you know, things will change in the times to come. Obviously, with Indian football, national team also, it's, it's improving day by day. So, you know, definitely the European clubs, the Asian clubs will have a different view about Indian football now. And hopefully, tomorrow there will be Indian, uh, you know, clubs approaching Indian players as well. So, Allah, of course, last time when you went uh, to Liverpool for the one week stint, you don't have the experience of the ISL with you. Now you're going with having played the ISL, you're pretty much one of those top 25 players in the country as well. How do you think your game has changed from that Zwala that went to England to the Zwala that's now going uh, abroad? Yeah, I think at uh, that time I, I haven't, mu uh, haven't got much, much experience because uh, all I have ever played uh, professionally was a South Cup at that time. So going back here, it will be a, you know, very, I think it will be, a, makes a big difference uh, comparing to that time. So it will help me a lot. In what way? Would you uh, say your decision making? Yeah, of course, better, decision making, understanding, yeah, understanding of the game. You know, uh, even uh, when when you played a match professionally, uh, like match day in day out. So it helps you a lot uh, by making like mentally strong, physically strong. 
it will help me a lot. And I'm sure working under the foreign coaches, you know, Liverpool yeah. uh, Academy, DSK, he was under Dave, and now, you know, two different coaches he's with mm. uh, in Delhi Dynamo and then the Indian national team. So that definitely, you know, helps a lot, you know, in changing the whole, you know, yeah. look to the game. Even and, you know, uh, understanding the game. Also, I've at least noticed uh, when working on the broadcast, uh, you have buffed up a little bit. In terms of physicality, is that is that a you know is that a thing you say that I need to add a little more meat here, a little more muscle to go and play abroad? Yeah, of course, uh, because uh, when 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 I was in Liverpool Academy, like even the 16-year-old player were very strong physically. So uh, in my mind, I've got that in my mind. So I have to build my physical a little bit more. And now I think. I'm a little bit more, uh, little warrior. Just, just for all our viewers, Zwala has 12 packs. <laughs> and we're going to ask him after this interview to give us 4 packs at least. Yeah, because we have 0 packs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cheap, by the way. <laughs> so, the, Raghavu was talking about the mindset earlier. Just, uh, I wanted to just ask, now that with, with the ISL coming in, uh, Indian players, at least the guys who are in the ISL, are getting paid reasonably well. The chances are that the kind of money you earn playing in the ISL, you have a, you can save more than you will uh, playing at a club abroad because your cost of living, etc., etc., etc. So, how do you approach this kind of uh, because you have to make a living also, and you have a short career, let's say 10 years, 15 years, you have to plan for the rest of your life. So, how do you balance these two things out? The desire to play in Europe versus the money that, for example, ISL clubs are offering these days. Yeah, of course, uh, it is, uh, you know, a hard decision um, at the end of the day because uh, this year, like, by the grace of God, uh, we played, like, quite well. So, um, you know, the not knowing that what we might get there and what offer we get there, so it, it's a hard decision. But, you know, uh, since I was a kid, it was my dream to fulfill this thing. So. I am like willing to do this. Come, I guess, yeah, yeah, the money will come. At least happen. he has the age right now on yeah, his side yeah. too. You know, yeah, right. at least, yeah. You're 21 right now. Uh, till how much are you giving yourself time that I'm going to keep trying my luck abroad? Say another four or five years, is that what you're giving yourself? Or are you putting a time limit on it? I that? think uh, it takes only a few days now. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. One so, <laughs> goes to this one and bags it, and that's. that's you hope it happens, man. Hopefully. Hopefully. You hope it happens because then you. No, by the way, that, cut, cut yeah. that thing. <laughs> no. I don't want people to uh, like. No worries. Yeah. No worries. So, any any conversation that you had with Gurpreet because he's also played in the Norwegian league, uh, and you guys were part of the the national team setup. Not much, uh, but uh, I have been talked to him before, and also he he said uh, he told me that. Uh, if you want to go abroad, you should go at this age, not not in 24, 25, 26. You should go at this age. He already told me when I was uh, in the South Cup. So since then, it was my dream again, uh, and it inspired me a lot. That thing. And uh, by the way, he went and he played well. And he came back and he is, uh, you know, top. Yeah, and one of the most earning. So. But you suppose that is also a way where, you know, you, in your next three, four years, you say, I'm going to try is trying my luck outside. Mm. Hopefully I get something, mm. become a more established player yeah. and then come back to India as the real deal. Mm. Like something what Gurpreet yeah, has done. Yeah. Finished product. That, 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 that can also be happening. Mm. Also, since we're talking about Gurpreet, uh, players who have uh, experience of playing abroad, Sunil Chetri. Uh, what are the sort of conversations you've had with this guy? Because he's taken his game, his aura, his everything to another level. So just tell us one-on-one, -on -one, what sort of conversations have you had with him? Uh, yeah, actually, he's uh, you know uh, a great leader, first of all, and he, he guides us a lot in the training pitch. Even when we make mistake, in the, you know uh, when when even even he, if he gets disappointed, he never shouts. You know, yes, next time, next time, like that. He's a he's a kind of player, so. Uh, even uh, when, when I was uh, out of the squad, he told me, "You'll make next time, and don't 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 be sad. Just keep working hard. And I know you you're not bad players, and it's just not your time. God will make your your way." So he told me that. So he's a great player, and of course he's a great leader. 
you know so we were we were doing a show on the asia cup and uh, we were saying look this is sunil's last tournament he's 34 because now it cannot be captain leader legend at 38 walking on a stick yeah. so he replies on a message saying buddy i'm playing the next asian cup <laughs> you better watch hopefully. out hopefully hopefully yeah. but any conversations on playing abroad with sunil because he's also done that he's played abroad not much but uh, uh, i asked uh, jj yeah. about him and uh, him second. yeah okay. Both of uh, both of them, uh, and he told me that uh, it's not going to be easy. You have to think. Uh, you have to be mentally very strong, and physically also. But yeah, they they encourage me a lot. Uh, even JJ told me that uh, it's uh, the most important thing is uh, following your dreams. So if you are willing to do this, you should go. So he t- he told me that. Raghav, just 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 one last final thing. Uh, if This doesn't happen. Uh, once we come to the close of the ISL, are you guys still again looking for club yeah, yeah. abroad? This, uh, I'm not sure about the years that Zuala would like to, you know, give to his team. But after you know the season ends, and if this does not work out, we are going out all guns. Even Asian countries, also for that matter, we'll be looking at. And could you give us a few names yeah, that you've tried at, and maybe it's not worked out? But uh, so, uh, there aren't. any particular names to be honest but uh, you know so how it happens is that it mostly you know we come across some partner agency then you know they refer to us to some clubs so you know it it was it wasn't any it was just initial interest so for for us to name that club right now would be what about the opportunity in poland i have poland i don't remember the club sorry it's a very <laughs> tough name so <laughs> and we have it on camera <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, finally, Zwala, just uh, a word. Uh, what sort of conversation have you had with family? Yeah, because uh, this is a tough sport, man. You don't get to stay at home, and now you're going to be going abroad. Are you the type of kid who's uh, always on FaceTime or WhatsApp video call? No, no, no. Actually, no. <laughs> But my mom never miss a day without talking to me. Every day. Yeah. Huh. I, he, he, she, she wants to talk to me every day. But I told her that it's not possible. <laughs> so. Uh, He miss uh, she miss me a lot, yeah. uh, and you know uh, this is uh, a hard decision for us, um, for the family, you know uh, because um, we could have earned like more than uh, ye- last year now, but you know uh, looking to that point, my parents were like very happy, and um, with all my performance and. but and taking this decision is you know uh, a big choice a big thing but uh, they always support me always always how much do you involve your family in your footballing decisions can you ask oh for me they are my first priority first priority so mom would have said no you're not doing the trial you're not going no she will not <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying hypothetically mm. As in mom, if mom says yes, then it's fine. If yeah. mom says no, then we're yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, last time uh, when when we decide, uh, we when we both decide to uh, go and chase our dreams. When I told my parents also, my mom, uh, she she doesn't understand much what what will happen, what what things are we doing actually. But I explained to her, and she said that it was your. Uh, it is your dream so you must fulfill and you must try to which mother is going to get in the way of her son's dreams yeah i would imagine yeah I yeah to say, but i hope that uh, she I, she might not like the idea but i hope she misses you a lot more and you spend many years far away from home playing playing football uh, in europe and and wherever wherever it is that the game takes you thanks so much guys for joining us we'll wrap up on that note all the best and uh, we we'll see you on 420 grams one way or the other when you're back and one way or the other let's take a promise if uh, zuala does make it abroad maybe if, even if not this time whenever he does he's calling us to that club <laughs> for an interview huh? all expense paid <laughs> <laughs> by the sports company by the sports company <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all plugs done all sorted thanks for watching guys see you next week